Hi, welcome to Bradley Public Library. I'm Miss Allison, and tonight at PJ Storytime, we're gonna read three stories. Our first one is about some bugs who go for a walk. We're gonna read about a chicken who's looking for a nest, and then we're gonna read about Tiny T-Rex and the Dark Knight. First, we're gonna read Absolutely Not, and this is written by Matthew McElliott. Gloria looked out the window. Summer was nearly over and the first hint of fall was in the air. I have an idea, she said to her best friend, Frida. Let's go for a walk. Absolutely not, said Frida. But it's a beautiful day, said Gloria. Don't you want to get out of the house? Absolutely not, said Frida. You are a bug, said Gloria who is as stubborn as a mule. Honestly, what are you afraid of? Well, for one thing, said Frida, I'm afraid of the snake. Mm, I agree, I wouldn't like a snake either. What snake, said Gloria. That one, said Frida. Gloria looked, she couldn't see a snake anywhere. Do you mean the river? What river, asked Frida. Put on your glasses, said Gloria and follow me. Kind of looks like a snake though, doesn't it? The river that's flowing. Outside, the day was warm and the sky was bright blue and the air smelled of flowers. Gloria took a deep breath. Look around you, she said. Isn't it a perfect morning? Absolutely not, said Frida. It's frightening. Frightening, said Gloria. Why? I'm not sure, said Frida, but I feel like someone is watching us. I don't like it. Such an imagination, said Gloria. Do you see where she's imagining a face? Can you see the clouds that are eyes and the tree that's a nose and the hill that's a mouth? The clouds are watching. Soon the bud bugs came upon an old rotten log lying in the grass. It's beautiful, cried Gloria. It stinks and it's covered in mold. Wouldn't it be lovely to live here? Absolutely not, said Frida. Why not, said Gloria. Don't you like logs? Did you say log or dog, asked Frida. Log, said Gloria, L-O-G. Oh, well that's different then, said Frida. Do you see where she thought it looks like a dog? You know what would be fun, said Gloria. Let's jump off the log into that pile of leaves. Absolutely not, said Frida. It's full of frogs. They'll have us for lunch. There are no frogs, said Gloria. It's just your imagination. You find something bad in everything you see. That's not true, said Frida. It is true, said Gloria. To you, all the world looks dark and sinister. Oh, look, it's just grass and leaves down there. It's not frogs, but I could see the frogs. Soon the bugs came to a clearing. A bicycle, said Gloria. A giant, said Frida. A what, said Gloria? Never mind, said Frida. See where Gloria sees the bicycle up here? Yeah. And then do you see the giant that Frida sees? Look, the eyes and the nose and the mouth. It looks like a giant, but I think it might just be the shadow. I've always wanted to ride on one of these, said Gloria. Shall we give it a try? Absolutely not, said Frida. What if the owner comes back? I'm sure the owner is far away, said Gloria. What if she's not, said Frida? Maybe she's just resting nearby. Look at me, shouted Gloria. What fun, I'm riding a bicycle. I think we should probably go home, said Frida. I suppose you're right, said Gloria. It is getting late. Let's take the shortcut through the woods. Are you sure that's a good idea? Asked Frida. It looks like, have I been wrong so far, asked Gloria. No, you haven't, said Frida. What does it look like? Does she see something there? I don't know. 
You have to agree, said Gloria. This really has been a nice day. I suppose it has, said Frida. Perhaps I worry too much. You really do, said Gloria. I can't help it, said Frida. It's just that sometimes things remind me of other things. For instance, those trees over there. Hmm. Oh, Frida, said Gloria, we've had a wonderful walk. Please don't ruin what's left of it. Well, said Frida. Very well, but still. But nothing, said Gloria, but Gloria insisted, Frida. Mm. Oh, Frida, said Gloria, we've had a wonderful walk. Please don't ruin what's left of it. Very well, said Frida, but still. But nothing, said Gloria. But Gloria, insisted Frida, doesn't it remind you of... I'm not listening, said Gloria. Gloria, shouted Frida, this time I'm sure it really is a... What is it this time? A bird! Oh, no! Oh, oh Frida, cried Gloria. We were nearly dinner. Frida shrugged. These things happen. I should have been more careful, said Gloria. How can I ever make it up to you? Frida thought about it for a moment. Well, she said finally, there is one thing. Anything, said Gloria. Just name it. You could take me for another walk tomorrow. Really, said Gloria? Absolutely, said Frida. Wasn't that a fun story? How Frida was a little bit nervous and could find scary things everywhere. But in the end, it was a fun walk. All right, so here is Scarecrow's Hat by Ken Brown. Do you see the Scarecrow here? Has anybody gone to the Perry Farm and visited the Scarecrows? They have lots of pretty Scarecrows out there. The Scarecrow's Hat. That's a nice hat, said Chicken to Scarecrow. Yes, it is, replied the Scarecrow. But I'd rather have a walking stick. I've been standing here for years now, and my arms are so tired. I'd love a walking stick to lean on. I'd swap it for a hat, for my hat for a walking stick any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a walking stick, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice walking stick, said Chicken to Badger. Yes, it is, replied Badger, but I'd rather have a piece of ribbon. It gets hot and stuffy underground, so I prop my door open with my stick, but I'm always tripping over it. If I had a ribbon, I could tie the door open. I'd swap my walking stick for a ribbon any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a ribbon, but she knew somebody who did. That's a nice ribbon, said Chicken to Crow. Yes, it is, said Crow, but I'd rather have some wool. My nest is on the high stone ledge, and it's very hard to sit on. I'd love some warm, soft wool to line it with. I'd swap this ribbon for some wool any day. Now, Chicken didn't have any wool, but she knew somebody who did. That's a nice wool coat, said Chicken to Sheep. Yes, it is, replied Sheep, but I'd rather have a pair of glasses. I have to keep a lookout for the wolf, and my eyes are not so good as they used to be. I really need a pair of glasses. I'd swap some wool for a pair of glasses any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a pair of glasses, but she knew someone who did. That's a nice pair of glasses, said Chicken to Owl. Yes, it is, said Owl. My old one's broke, so I had to get a new pair, but I'd rather have a blanket. The sun streams through my window, and it keeps me awake all day, which wouldn't matter if I had a good, thick blanket to sleep under. I'd swap my glasses for a blanket any day. Now, Chicken didn't have a blanket, but she knew somebody who did. 
That's a nice blanket, said Chicken to Donkey. Yes, it is, replied Donkey. But I'd rather have a few feathers. The flies drive me crazy buzzing around my ears. My tail isn't quite long enough to flick them away. But if I had some long feathers tied to the end of it, I could swat them easily. I'd swap my blanket for a few long feathers any day. Now, quick as a flash, Chicken pulled out one, two, three of our longest feathers, and she tied them to Donkey's tail. Donkey was delighted, and true to his word, swapped his blanket for the feathers. Chicken took the blanket to Owl, who swapped it for his glasses, the old ones, of course. And she took the glasses to Sheep, who swapped them for her wool. And she took the wool to Crow, who swapped it for her ribbon. And she took the ribbon to Badger, who swapped it for his walking stick. Finally, she took the walking stick to Scarecrow with a grateful sigh of relief. He learned, leaned his tired old arms on the stick and gladly swapped it for his battered old hat. Now Chicken took the hat and filled it with fresh, sweet smelling straw. Ah, oh, that's a nice nest, said Duck. Yes, it is, said Chicken, and I wouldn't swap it for anything. The end. So Chicken finally did get that hat for her nest, didn't she? She had to swap some things around, but finally she got to it. And she helped out her friends along the way. Now we're going to read Tiny T-Rex and the Very Dark Dark. Tiny, it will be dark soon. Yes, Pointy. Soon it will be very dark. Tiny T-Rex and the Very Dark Dark. It is our first camp out in the backyard and we are nervous. We have never slept outside before. Have you ever had a camp out outside? We are mighty beasts. I am a Rex. Pointy is a pointy and Bob is my special squish. But even mighty beasts get scared if we can't sleep with our nighty lights. When I am inside the dark, doesn't seem so dark. See the light from the TV or the lava lamp here or the refrigerator. But when I am outside, the dark is very dark. Outside, there are no nighty lights to turn on. And when there are no nighty lights, the grumbles and the nombies come out. That looks a little scary, doesn't it? Mother says, there's always a light shining somewhere, tiny, even in the dark. If you are brave and look hard enough, you will find it. But it's hard to be brave when you're scared of the crawly creeps. And it's hard to look for something when you have your eyes shut. Pointy and I thought up a secret plan to be brave. When the very dark dark comes, we will be ready. First, we will build a hiding fort to hide our snacks and ourselves. So off they go. Looks like they're kind of building a tent, doesn't it? I don't feel hidden. Is the head sticking out? Yeah. Next, we will make a special helmet to protect our brains from the grumbles and the nombies. I need a bigger helmet. The next part of the plan is the most important. We must hurry. We are running out of time. The crawly creeps are getting close. Tap, 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 tap. Snore! I hear the grumbles. They're close. There they go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. 
Run, Pointy! The Nombies are here! I'm not sure if that's the Nombies or maybe somebody's eating a cucumber. There they go. They run out to their tent. They get it all set up. This is it. Our secret plan is almost ready. I see it. What do you think their secret plan is? Now we will not be scared of the very dark dark because we have made a super bright nighty light. Click. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at all that light. Oh, our plan didn't work. The very dark dark has got us. Oh no. I am scared. Pointy is scared. Bob is scared. We are all scared together. Maybe we can be brave together too. Brave enough to open our eyes and look very, very hard. Do you think they can do it? I think they can. Oh, look what they see. What do you see up in the sky? Look, and they found some light. I see the light from the moon and look at all the stars. The very end. Do you want to sing with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. That's a light up in the sky that we can find almost every night. Are you guys ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good night, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.